Yo, what's up everybody? This is More Power here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a powerful day. Today what I got for you guys is, um, you know, it's a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a, you know, just me talking today. Uh, you know, yesterday, actually a couple of days ago, we got word that, um, the variety pack from Call of Duty 4 was going to be returning as a remastered DLC for COD 4 Remastered which was great this is what everybody loved it's the reason why activision and raven decided to remaster it and bring it in so that it'd be fresh content so that it wouldn't be stale and everything was great well then everybody started asking charlie and so who actually did drop this um on uh tuesday and they were saying is it going to be free um it's supposed to be free and everything like that and then charlie until replied saying no it will be $14.99 for the uh, season pass or not the season pass for the DLC and uh you know that's a little bit weird I mean this game is the the DLC is 10 years old or almost 10 years old it doesn't really make sense that it would be $15 for DLC that's 8 years old or 9 years old and I've been sitting here racking my mind why they would do that and then everybody was getting all mad and upset because they were like, oh, Activision and Raven said everything that um, was coming, all the DLC that was coming to COD 4 Remastered was going to be free. And that's where everybody is wrong. The only thing that they said was free was going to be the six remaining maps that were not added at launch. Those were the only things that were going to be free. Um, but I do understand why Activision is doing this. They have to make money. You know, they have a, you know, they have a business plan and they have to make the money to you know, sustain the business plan, but, I mean, this was a add-on to the standalone game, uh, for the year, and I'm, I'm thinking, why would we pay for a DLC, I mean, especially season pass holders, I mean, I'm a season pass holder for Infinite Warfare, this is the first time that I've ever bought in a season pass, and I thought that it was, you know, if they did bring DLC to Modern Warfare Remastered, that it would be covered in the uh, season pass, but it's not it's just for infinite warfare and I'm I'm trying to rack my brain as to why Activision and Raven would charge people for this Map pack and I'm just I'm sitting here. I'm at a loss for words um, I'm really disappointed that we do have to pay for it, but I I do think <coughs> That excuse me that Activision has the right to charge for it, but I don't think it should be you know, $15 for the map pack. If they're going to charge for it, make it $5. You know, even $5. Because if you bought the game with Infinite Warfare, it was only $20 for the for Modern Warfare Remastered. If you're paying $15 for a DLC, that's three-fourths of the price of the original game. I'm sitting here, I'm like, why? But I will say that, um, that it... It's a good thing. They did something good with it. They're adding that you get 10 rare supply drops for the lion uh, operation. It's And that, actually, that operation is actually not in Modern Warfare Remastered right now, but it will be. So we're going to get new, hopefully new content for Modern Warfare Remastered, and we get 10 free supply drops. I hope that makes up for it. I know that it probably won't, but that's just my take. My little bit of a rant. Uh, but also the Call of Duty community, I think they're overreacting a little bit because everybody's saying that this was supposed to be free. Actually, no, it's not. Activision only said that the f six remaining maps that were not released at launch were free. So I, we got to cut Activision a little bit of a break there. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, DLC and uh, whether it should be free or not. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys, because as always, uh, once we hit 100 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway, so you might want to stick around and check that out. And as always, guys, I'll check y'all on the next video.